Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Okay, this is something you need to do on a regular basis. Remind yourself of why you went to the Philippines. Um, the reason I say this is because some things are going to get on your nerves, some things are going to annoy you. Um, but you will find that you sit there and go, okay, why did I leave? You know, and you think why you left where you left. It puts things in perspective. For example, I find the UK extremely obsessed with health and safety and process. I like riding around on a motorbike without a helmet on. I like the fact that if I don't register my motorbike on time in the Philippines, I just get a small fine to pay and it doesn't go up every month, blah, blah, blah. People don't bother me. Um, there's a load of reasons I love the Philippines. I'm finding Spain very, very similar. Um, and I'll have to say that these are the things you need to remember. Because if you let things bug you, they're going to keep bugging you and they're going to keep niggling at you and getting worse over a period of time. Um, because those things will keep bugging you because they ain't going to change. It's very unlikely you're going to have some positive change uh, that is going to considerably impact your life in a positive way. Um, but what you will find is, like saying, that little pop, 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 pop motorbike will start bugging you. Then, because you haven't slept that well at night, maybe the rooster is going off. Uh, maybe it's hearing people selling stuff in the street, shouting as you go through. Because uh, you didn't rest, you normally don't notice them because it's normally your daytime, but maybe you're sleeping an extra couple of hours. So then it bugs you because this guy is now shouting that he's selling ice cream or something, when normally it wouldn't bother you. Key to it is adapt. If you can adapt to the headaches that are going on all the time around you, you can find there's a... There's a dividing line. Um, you've got to justify some of this stuff to you because otherwise you're just going to get wound up with it all the time. You've got to sit there and go, okay, this guy's noisy with the ice cream, but that idiot with the motorbike does it every morning. It's my fault because I didn't. I slept in. Okay, you probably go, yeah, but why is it your fault? Because, you slept, because the guy selling ice cream He's been doing it there for the last 20 years. The guy with his motorbike is annoying, but at the same time, you've got to move away from the window. You've got to sleep uh, without the window open and put the fan on or whatever. He is not going to change. He has no money to fix his motorbike. That's why he's still using a 1970s motorbike. All right, thanks for watching.